Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another edition of Awesome Calls. It's a time doing a secret sauce. I am currently in a live trade as I'm talking to you right now. Um, I'm in a stock called ILMN. Uh, when I got back in the chat room, I took uh, 225 shares long at $290.29666. And I am looking for a $300. I'm about up above $200 right now on the trade. So if you do hear me stop, pause. <laughs> That's me making three hundred dollars while I'm talking to you. So, I would love to see two ninety two on the stock. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, trade of the day uh, it was actually done in pre market. Believe it or not, it was an incredible trade. It was called PCG. Um, this morning, um, there's a there was we got a lot of fires here in California, and unfortunately, the Kincaid fire. There's a possibility, which is the key word here, that. The Kincaid fire might be caused by uh, PGD, and until uh, you know, I'm one of these kind of traders that you know, unless you're, it's like you're almost, it's like you're guilty until you're proven innocent. You, you see my point? And so here's City putting out a statement like they're already guilty, so we think the stock is worth zero. Okay, you need to calm down. You need to take a bubble bath, go chill, have a cup of coffee, cappuccino, because AJ is going to come in. Okay. Now, it was great because the great Gianni Moore saw the headline coming across and shorted the stock from six, six and a quarter, all the way down to five. What was interesting is Ken M, Ken H, and all the traders that were in pre-market were buying, as such as I was, in pre-market the five area. Because everyone knows that I have preached that you have to buy PCNG at five. That is the bounce opportunity. Look at the historics of the trade. It is a bounce. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. And I was all over that this morning. And I did tweet that live for you on everyone on Twitter to buy the $5 area and under. It was a Christmas gift. And here is the trade. Here is the sell-off, as, as the great Janny called out. And it was interesting because the traders in the room were calling to tell. They were telling, <laughs> even though moderator Janny knew, they were all saying, oh, it got to cover here. Got to start buying at 5. AJ said at 5. And... Uh, so a lot of people did very well this morning, including myself. And now it's coming back down to five and under. Um, I did recommend what I think that you, you could do on that stock um, and hold it over. So I already gave my thoughts to the chat room. Next stock we did today was, uh, hold on, so it's PCG. I have to do this quickly. Uh, the next one was CAR. CAR caught a downgrade this morning from Deutsche Bank. Um, their downgrade was pretty irrelevant to me. And when I see an ir irrelevant downgrade, I technically end up buying that stock to the upside and buying the gap. And that's exactly what I did. I told everyone buy the stock at 28.50 this morning. I said the stock would gap fill back up to 29.65. You can see the stock actually went to 30. It was a great trade. Next one we did uh, was VCRA. I'm giving you some really easy ones that we did today. Uh, VCRA was a really nice stock that we did. This one was overly done. I read the earnings report this morning, and after perusing it, I felt the stock was a little bit oversold. Um, I was a buyer here at 17.50 to 18. I said the stock required run to 19.50 to 20 per my notes, and you can put alongside my notes. And within the first few minutes of the opening, it hit almost 18.79. So it was a really nice trade, and continues to uptrend since then. The call of the day today, besides PCG, has to go to Charter. I nailed this Charter like there is no tomorrow. On Charter, I called, um, I read the report. Plus, they're going to do possibly streamlining with Comcast. Uh, was also in their conference call that they said, and that is a positive for the company and negative for Roku. Uh, more streamlines out there, uh, more uh, stuff that people can do. So, uh, just more, uh, what do you call it, competition. So I called for a, um, believe it or not, I called for a 442.50 pull at the open. It hit 442.25. And I said the stock would hit $470 today. The stock hit $469.57. This is truly the call of the day. It is the epitome of what Awesome Calls is all about, how great we are. And uh, this was just a wonderful trade. Next one we did today was a stock called ALGT. ALGT was a nice earnings play, nice uh, setup for us this morning. <clears throat> this one, I had to really read through the report. I made the decision based on what I read that the stock would pop at the open to $168, and it would gap fill to 158 
and then come right back up to 168. If you don't believe me, look how I wrote it. It was scripted, all pre-market this morning. ALGD was our number 10 pick, and here it is. The stock will open at the open to 168, and the stock will pull back to 158 and under, and bottom curl and go back up to 168. It was a wonderful trade. Uh, the next one that we did today um, was we could do boom. Uh, ALGT, ALGT. Then let's go over to boom. Uh, charter. Oh, can't forget shop. Shop was a wonderful trade. Now shop was. Um, let me show you how shop was working on. Okay, now shop was getting hit on Amazon. And Amazon, we like to buy the weakness on Amazon. And I told everyone in the chat room, um, and also DarkSide as well, made it very clear, you need to buy Amazon on weakness. It's kind of a standard thing when it gets sold off, shorts cover and new fresh money comes in, and that's exactly what happened. Funds started coming in and buying the stock on the weakness. It was a buying opportunity, not a short idea. And uh, I got several times questions in the room, should I short here, should I short here, should I short here? And each time I said, no, 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 this is a long. <clears throat> and the stock went all the way up to 1764. Uh, so it was definitely a beautiful trade. Because I did not write it on my notes, I cannot <clears throat> do a chart and take credit for it because it was a combination of just somebody asking me a simple question. I answered it. And also dark side, um, this actually he could actually do the chart because he was all over it in his, in his webinar room to buy the stock long. And just a mental note. When you get a sell off over 100, 150 points, Amazon is a buying opportunity. But because it got hurt, shop got hurt with it. So what I did on shop is I called for a nice uh, sell, sell off to 310 and under, bottom curl and back up to 319, 320. That's what I wrote down. The stock sold off. Gave you 10 on the downside and at least uh, 10 or 15 on the upside. It was a wonderful trade on shop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> another one we did today was boom. I liked boom today. I thought it was a very good stock to play. We had this going to 44.45 at the opening. Um, it, at, <clears throat> the stock was sitting in pre-market down here at 43.26. I told everyone in the chat room this should rocket towards 44.45 or more, and it actually did a hell of a lot more. It just uh, it hit 48. So if you were long. There's no way you could physically got out of it without making an extra two points just on a market order. So it went from 43 to 48 in just a matter of, uh, what is it, a minute and 30 seconds. So boom was a really good one. And let's see. Uh, so charter, uh, bud, KP. Oh, and we had a little small sell-off here on CREF. Uh, CREF was a short idea. Um, Pref hit the S&P 600, small cap, and I wanted to short it, gap filled to 2020 and under, and then just bottom curl. And right now it's just, it's holding there, and uh, so it should be pretty good there. Anything else I got here? Let's see. Uh, I can just finish up RMD. No, it's okay. Okay, so those were some of our plays today. Um, I got about 87% accuracy. I was shooting for 100, but hey, it didn't happen. Um, so at this point now, what we want to do is we're preparing for next week on earnings. So just be aware of that. Uh, we're going to have a tremendous amount of earnings opportunities coming up. Uh, we've got uh, starting, I believe, on Monday morning. This is just Monday morning. And you're going to have AT&T, Spotify, CNA, AVX. Uh, HSB, Mercury Insurance, I mean, WBA, CTB, Campbell, uh, AMG, uh, EBD, QSR. I mean, this is just, we're going to be busy till Christmas. I mean, it's going to be phenomenal. And then we have earnings after, I mean, all next week is just, oh, you're in another planet in here. But every day I teach traders how to read the reports, how to see through them, how to understand them. This way, they can anticipate the moves before they even happen, such like an ALGT long out of the gate, and make that money. That's really what it's about. So education, 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 education. That's what we're about in here. 
So I really was proud of that call and my most beautiful call today. Call today will go to charter and a magnificent trade. All right. So thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to trading with you. Uh, this uh, quick webinar. I got to get out of here. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and enjoy yourself. I will see you on Monday morning. Okay. So thank you. All right. Take care.